Hey, this is Manu, and in this video, uh, you are going to learn HTML action link helper in MVC. MVC framework includes a standard set of helpers that we use to render the most common types of HTML elements. HTML action link is one of them that we are going to talk on. The easiest way to render an HTML link in a view is to use the HTML action link helper. HTML action link does not link to a view. It creates a link to a controller action and this adds the more benefit in MVC. On your screen, you can see the general syntax of HTML action link. Here at HTML dot action link and the first part text to display in the link and the second part is action result and the next the controller to call and then parameters and etc however html action link helpers has several overloads and it supports several parameters as you can see on your screen there is 10 parameters first one is link text next action link and then controller name and then protocol and then host name fragment uh, route value dictionary and uh, html attributes now let's move to practical for this open the visual studio and create a sample project for this i'll click on file new project and i'll choose the wave and asp.net mvc3 web application and type the project name here and location on desktop and then click on ok in the popped window i'll select the template as empty and view engine as razor and check to select the html5 semantic markup and click on ok now let's add model controller and views first of all i'll add a model add class and type the name student and click on add and create a property here now add a controller class add controller and name it as home and click on add now let's build the project so that we can consume our model a student in our views for this I'll click on build and build the project success now add a view for the index action result for this I'll right click here and navigate to add view I'll type the view name here and check here for the strongly type view and select the model here and at the end click on add now again switch back to home controller and add another action result by name browse for this I'll copy this and paste this rename it as browse and I'll add the view for browse action result for this I'll right click here and navigate to add view and check to create a strongly typed view and click on add now we have a student model a home controller having two views index and browse in the index view I'll create action link to navigate browse view for this I'll switch back to index and create the action link In this code I am using go to browse page as a link text and using browse as the action. Now run the project and look at the HTML format. Here's the project running on my screen. If I mouse over on the link you can see at the corner the HTML markup of this URL. 
in the HTML format of this link you can see home is being used as the controller name and browse is being used as the action result name remember if you don't pass controller then default controller as in global will work by default global has home as a controller name you can see in action link we are just passing the action result not passing any controller name so in the running project home is being used by default even we can pass root values from an action link to a controller action assume if you want to find the record of any student whose roll number and section is given how will you do that here you go just add following codes in the existing action link Now let's run the project and look at the HTML markup of this action link. Now if you click on this link, it will render following HTML. In this URL, you can see roll number equals 2 and section equals 1A. One more thing that we are missing here and we should learn it also how to show image in the links this is also possible let's see just keep all ideas that we have learned so far same and place the image as a background as given on your screen on your screen you can see there is action link and in the link text i am passing the blank space and index as action result and rest all parameter will be null and then at the space of HTML attribute we are passing a style with the image as no repeat center right display block and height of the image and width of the image the main key you should remember always that is action link has no any specific way to do this but HTML attributes parameter can do something similar and next one is action link does not support empty text link so I have used blank that is white space for it let's open the visual studio and look at the practicals and now type the following codings now here's the code for you let me wrap this so that you can look at this here's this let's run the project you can see the running project on your screen here is a simple link and image based link both will work same So that's all about the HTML action link helper in MPC3. If you want to learn some more articles and videos, please navigate to this URL. Thank you.